Hello there! This video will introduce you to Subscribe2, which is a management software for WordPress. It helps to smoothly send new blogs and articles to users automatically. This is because it has all the functionalities to manage your email subscriptions. Let's start! With over 40,000 active installation, features include automatic subscription, freedom to design your email, Control notification for registered subscribers to avoid notification from certain authors. Public and registered subscribers option. Bulk action for registered subscribers. Message substitutions for templates. Auto subscribe option for registered users. Subscribe to counter widget to count the number of subscribers. Reduce website setup time. Create new design by customization. Checking mobile responsiveness. Lastly, you can choose to send email to a particular group of subscribers with file attachment. We're not going to go over the process of installing the Subscribe2 plugin. Because the process is the same as installing any other WordPress plugin. So let's jump to the exciting part. After installing the plugin, you need to set up your email Navigate to Subscribe to Settings and Email Settings. You will find options for sending the number of emails, sending notifications for new subscription, sending emails from a particular sender rather than from a fixed source, and scheduling your emails. Subscribe to has three very important templates just for you. Navigate to Subscribe to, then Settings, and then click on Templates. Here, you can customize the templates according to your choice. When managing your subscriptions, you need to send three kinds of emails to your subscribers. They are Notification Email for New Posts, Subscribe, Unsubscribe Notification, and Incomplete Subscription Reminder. If you want a sample of how your email template looks like, just click on Send Email Preview. When we create a site, we create categories so users can easily find topics they want to read. This is where the Registered User tab is handy. Compulsory categories send notification on posts that a user must receive. This by default applies to subscribed users. The excluded category option over here is just the opposite. If you don't want your subscribers to receive email posts that are marked as excluded, then be sure to mark the boxes. However, you can allow registered users to subscribe to the excluded categories by marking on this box. Auto subscribe lists option on how you want to set up your subscription system for new users. The appearance setting is where you decide how the subscription to plugin will be placed on your website. So be sure to set the default page for your plugin to work. For the appearance settings, you get the option to set subscription counter, subscribe to button, pop-up style subscription form, enable subscribe to widget, and a link to your subscription page in Meta. You can disable email notification by default on authoring pages. Lastly, you can use JavaScript to update the IP address in subscription to HTML form data. For Barrett domains, just click on the miscellaneous tab. This option will help you to bar domains for public subscriptions. You can add public site link, plugin form link, and plugin blog link. Now that you are finished with all your settings, it's time to send your first email to your subscribers. Just navigate to WP Admin, then go to Posts, and click on Add New Post. Choose the category for the post that was included in the settings. After finishing the post, hit the Publish button. Here is a view of a subscriber receiving an email of a new post.
Now your subscriber will be kept updated on all of your posts and you don't have to worry about sending the posts manually. And that is how you can use the subscribe to plugin to update your users with blogs or posts. If you are looking for an instant solution for your email marketing, check out getwemail.io or be sure to check the WeDevs website for more information. That's it for now. Stay tuned.